105.9 Academy FM. Folkestone's radio station. Today then, we're very lucky to be joined by the brilliant The Far East Movement. Yeah! yeah. What's up? Yeah, a lot of love from the Far East Movement today, guys. Thank you for joining us. Now, we'll go straight into it. And if we re- re- rewind back to where we first heard of you, it was definitely like a G6. And that's what took off for me. Like a G6 was massive. It showed off what you could do. It was a big party anthem. I mean, what do you think about the reaction, especially in the UK too, like a G6? I mean, thank you. Thank you to the UK for being so supportive of like a G6. And for us, I mean... We made that song in, 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 in practically a bedroom with egg crates and, and a microphone hooked up. And, you know, it was something that we just made for the heads on the Internet and the party kids. And, I mean, to hear that reaction and for it to do what it did and, you know, get us out here. I mean, we're really grateful. And, it, you know, it's that dirt, it was that early dirty bass for us. So, yeah, I mean, we appreciate that, man. I love that saying. I love that saying. Dirty bass. Thanks. Thank you. We, we do love to party. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> now, your Free Wired album, you had so many collaborations, the likes of Roger Sanchez, Snoop Dogg, I mean, brilliant collaborations, Dev as well. I mean, that must have just been a dream, like you said, for making the G6 records, putting that out there, to be getting them collaborations on such a brilliant album. Oh, man, you know, it was it was a dream list. I mean, you know, a, a lot of that album, we had co-produced and wrote, and to have some of those people get on our songs and, you know, even do some of the hooks that we did like we we co-wrote rocketeer with bruno mars and this was early on and to have ryan tedders you know bless it with his vocals i mean it, it's it's kind of weird being in the studio it's the dream come true like that you know and um you know that album was a lot of fun to put together as far as just really showcasing our diversity m- musically i mean you know we we grew up on such a diverse playlist of rock you know uh, Hip hop, dance, and to put all that on, on on a record, especially our debut, was was really cool to see all the way through. And you know, th- this next album, Dirty Bass, was, was is, is definitely a stem off that. No, it sounds it sounds incredible fun, and I love love to know from you. I mean, you're energetic. You're guys who love to party, as you said. I mean, touring is one massive party by the sounds of it, and it's a lot of hard work as well, and it's, it, it's probably what brings out the best in every artist. So for you, is it making the album or touring, which which is kind of like the highlight for you? Well, we made a lot of the album, and, and it was on tour while we were with Rihanna and Calvin Harris. Then we switched tours and went to tour with... <clears throat> uh, Little Wayne and Rick Ross. And so those are two really diverse audiences. We would take all that energy from the crowd and go into our hotel rooms and hook up microphones to, you know, uh, shower heads or whatever we could find and really took it back to the basics to record this Dirty Bass album, which was inspired heavily, too, by what we call that golden era of bass music. You know, the the, the, the heavy 808, gold chains, big subwoofers. You know, we really wanted to bring that Dirty Bass thing to life. Now... I want to get try and get some teasers here. I'm going to put it straight here, out here. What can you tell us about the Dirty Bass album? Have you got any other collaborations you can tease us with? What's, what's, what can we expect from the Dirty Bass album? Yes, well, you know, but just like Freewired, how we had Like a G6 and we put out a completely different song like Rocketeer is an unexpected move. Also, too, a lot of people were like, is that even the same artist? You know, that that's, that's always been the excitement for us, getting in the studio and doing that unexpected thing. So, you know, with Justin Bieber, that was the first collab where people, I know his audience and our audience was like, really like, wow, that that's totally unexpected. But, you know, we wanted to create that party in a song that was really inviting for all audiences you know all races all faces all places and and, you know with the other collabos we took it mixed up dirty bass with tokyo hotel and you know the lead singer bill cowlitz so that's a song called if i die tomorrow then you know meeting me on tour with little wayne we met an artist named tyga who has a song out called rack city and just that young money cash money crew we put him on a song called Dirty Bass. So we're keeping it eclectic and, and fun. And a lot of the new, newer artists out there that are really getting our attention are on this album. Yeah, your, your new singles with uh, with Bieber. I mean, what was it like working with him? And what can you tell us about Live, Live My Life? It's just it's a great and just track like a G6. Thank you. I mean, working with Justin was an honor. You know, you see see a young dude that's, that's talented and, and really, you know, growing up in the scene. And, and when we got in the studio with him, we remember... We remember officially 
say, here's a moment between artist and artist. When you finish the song, you just got to turn down the lights, turn up that dirty bass, and see what you came up with. When we played it, we remember hearing footsteps on the side and looking over, and there you see Justin just dancing, like getting that whole moonwalk two-step thing going on and just thinking that's the life like that's the life of the song right there so you know we're really honored to have him on there and th the next step though which is even crazier was we played the song while on tour with lmfao we played it for red foo and red foo said yeah baby and he said yo i gotta do a remix so we all flew out to vegas super last minute spent a whole lot of time partying and made the Party Rock remix with Red Foo. And, um, I mean, that was when the, the one we shot the music video to, which uh, was in Amsterdam off of that Cherry Tree Pop Alternative tour. Now, I have to say, I've watched the LMFO remix video, and it looks incredible fun. Thank you, man. It was, it was I mean, Amsterdam with Red Foo as a tour guide and Far East Movement. We actually invited Justin. We sent him for all the Bieber fans wondering where he's at. We sent him a card with calligraphy on it that said, you're cordially invited with a balloon and pigeons. But, you know, unfortunately, he couldn't make it. He was busy working on his thing, but it was still cool. He sent his, you know, no matter what, we're going to party tonight blessing. And we definitely got that party cracking out there. Now, I need your help. We are putting together a kind of super group like yourselves at the station. We, I think we want to make our own track. That's in the pipeline. But we want to make some money for the station. Now... I have decided, well, not myself, but we have decided collectively that we are going to make a supergroup, and we need your help. Now, can you can you help us? I mean, you've got cool names. I mean, you've got very cool names, and the Far East Movement is a great, great, great group name. I mean, did you have any names which you didn't use, which you could maybe help us with, or can you use your creative abilities to come up with a name for us? Well, who, who's in the group? It's, it's you? Well... I'm going to be guest rapping, so I'm not really a sole member in the group, but we've got the uh, the guy who's on before me, the uh, the Folkestone celebrity, Adam Dowling. Uh, we've also got his team, which is Kirkham and the Sports Ferret, who are going to be doing the track. I, th I think they're going to be taking lead vocals. But we, we did come up with some names. Um, we came up, I was going to put the idea of the Charaps, because of Charity Raps. I was going to put that to them today. Uh, we've got the Saturdays, um, <laughs> with loads of Zs on the end. And we've got I think a load of rap is the other one. Oh, now those are all cool. Those are all catchy and cool. Um, how about? Okay, this is a good question. I'm gonna say, you guys like to party? No, maybe. You on Saturdays? How about no sleep on Saturday? Oh, that's no sleep on Saturday. Oh, I like that. That's brilliant. I like that. That's kind of fly. I don't know. I mean, you know, excuse me, but that's kind of fly. Here's a new hit from the brand new group. No sleep on Saturday. On. You know You know what I mean? That's, that that kind of works. Yeah. That is, uh, do you know what? You've just made our tagline. Guys, thank you very much. We're going to play Live My Life next, guys. Thank you. All right, y'all. Thank Thanks, you. man. I'm going to live my life. Academy FM Folkestone 105.9 FM and online at academyfmfolkestone.com.